Hello, I am Dr. Mini Naya, Founder and Chief Physician of Ayur Healing Ayurveda and Siddha Hospital, 18th Main, 6th Block, Koramangla. Pots and pans are also part of our daily activities. It is not only used for cooking or storage, but also we need to understand that every material in it actually leaches into our food. We are consuming it in smaller portions, but everything goes into our body. Despite all innovations in cookware, but there are various illness, like for example, it can be the infertility or hypothyroidism or hypercholesterol. All these can result because of the kind of cookware that we are being using. There are various material that goes into making a, a kitchenware or cookware is the aluminium, the stainless steel, it can be the clay, the earthenware, the cast iron or the latest teflon coated utensils. What we need to be understanding the concept is each and every material have been used for various purposes. For example, the aluminium, when we start using it over a period of time, the smaller portion of it actually gets leached into the food and can cause toxicity. Then the stainless steel. Stainless steel is, yeah, it is considered to be safer, but what happens, the kind of uh, cleaning that we use, using the steel wool, we rub it and sometimes what happens is, the, it, there'll be a lot of scratches on these vessels and the nickel portion of this stainless steel get exposed and this over a period of time also can leach into our food. So such kind of cleaning process to be avoided and also uh, you can try to replace your wares as frequent as possible. The next is the commonly used is copper. Copper is used for storage of purpose, especially water. But here as and when we use it, a small quantity is essential for our body and it is always permissible. But on larger quantity, it can lead to a lot of toxicity like vomiting, diarrhea as some of the effects of copper toxicity. This has to be avoided completely. And even various um, food like acidic food like uh, with tamarind, tomatoes, such kind of food cannot be stored in copper because they can be afterwards, they can be a lot of this toxic tarnish which can happen on that and that can lead to various toxicities. The next common thing that we use is iron. Again, another essential element for our body, but here the washing and storage is what is very important. Sometimes when you try to store this wet cast iron, things can, uh, like rust can develop on it and that is quite toxic for our body. The common thing now we have is the Teflon coated uh, cookwares. I think every one of us love to use the non-stick pans and non-stick vessels for cooking. But here what happens is the Teflon, not every one of us know that this is a thyrotoxic material. That is why now hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism are very commonly seen is because after the usage of this Teflon coated material, the conditions get worsen and you know what you see is majority of the cases are with hypothyroidism. So this has to be avoided when you're using it for high flame cooking. The next common thing I have, we have heard is that people use titanium coated vessels, which for now is considered to be very safe. But what we would recommend is to better go back to your tradition, follow what we were using initially is the earthenware or the clay pot. There is nothing as good as that because it is very close to nature. And second thing is there's absolutely no effects or negative effects seen on using uh, earthenware, especially for storage of milk and milk products.